don't make no difference. Everybody, I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's the Steelers going up against the Cowboys. With that, let's go out to AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Dallas Cowboys. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The first carry for Le'Veon Bell. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Time for the offensive starters now for the Pittsburgh Steelers and a guy to watch out wide, Sammy Coates. A slow start in his rookie season. Only caught one pass in 2015. They're expecting much bigger things from him trying to help out that offense. He can get open. You know his quarterback will find him. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. And now the defense for Dallas. Sean Lee is a linebacker with an exciting mix of tackling ability and coverage skills. Roethlisberger. And the double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that oh, hurts. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And partner for Ezekiel Elliott, congratulations are in order. He passed Tony Dorsett's rookie rushing record as a Dallas Cowboy in Week 11. And you know what else he wants to do? He wants to emulate Tony Dorsett in another way, and that's win a Super Bowl as a rookie as Tony Dorsett did in setting that record. But also, on, you know he's go. trying to chase let's down go. Eric Dickerson's rookie rushing record of 1,808 yards. That would be interesting to see if he can get there. Brian with a catch right side. Two touchdowns for Dez in the win over the Ravens, 80 yards. Really continuing to use his size to kind of bully the Ravens secondary. And I think that his head coach, Jason Garrett, helped formulate a terrific game plan because he knew that Dez's size, as you noted, was going to be a problem for the Baltimore Ravens defenders. Size, catch radius, determination to come down with the football. Dez Bryant has all of that, and he is a difficult matchup on any given game. 
Okay, starting lineup time offensively, Charles, for the Dallas Cowboys. And how about them at number four in the 2016 draft? Big needs on the defensive line, and they go with the running They back. go star power. They went star power, but Ezekiel Elliott, in a lot of ways, was... And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. On the return, here's Justin Gilbert. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll be second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. A huge play there on the screen pass. 49 yards. What really hurts defenses on screen passes is that they eat up one of their levels right away. Because you know most defense there's three levels. D-line, linebacker, secondary. But on a screen pass, you're inviting the defensive line to get into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So the offensive 11 for the Cowboys coming back onto the field, and what a year it's been. Now remember, they lost their opener to the Giants. Since the nine straight wins, first time ever, a Cowboys team has won nine in a row. And this is a group, a franchise, that has five Super Bowl titles. I'm absolutely in shock. Are you serious? This is the first time they've ever won first nine time. in a row? All the success the Cowboys franchise has had? That's amazing to me, but I'll tell you this. This team has strung together a terrific streak, not just by doing it on offense, but the defense, which is expected to really have a tough time, has played really well this season. Now Prescott, and he hits Jason Witten to tight end. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. The speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. the penalty, it's Elliott, and he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Second down following the run. Bryant, the lone receiver left. Here's Prescott, trying here for Bryant, and it's intercepted. Picked off, Jarvis Jones. And he will be brought down, but he's got the interception on the final play of this first quarter. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It'll be a three-yard game, and it'll make it a second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. And he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. 
when you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. So here we go, first and 10 now. Now Roethlisberger going to hand a bell. And he takes it across midfield to the 45. Well, Le'Veon Bell enjoyed playing Cleveland in Week 11. Led all rushers on Sunday, 146 yards. He tossed in the passing yardage. He was over 200. But how about the start to the game? He's over 100 yards in the first half. Sprinted out there, set the tone, and boy, he's just one of the best backs in the league because of what you just noted. He can run it effectively, not just inside, but outside. But his ability to catch the football makes him a matchup nightmare for defenses. And now the offense operates in the red zone. They'll come up now in the Wildcat package. They'll let their receiver run it out of the Wildcat. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Darius Hayward Bay taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And now following the timeout, we'll see if the offense tries to change things up. Roethlisberger looking to throw. Eluding the pressure right. That's caught at the two. And this play is not going to work. He stops short of the goal line, and this will remain a 7-6 ball game. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys' defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And now a whistle and a timeout called by the kicking team. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. Well, whatever the relationship was between the special teams and the offense, he's gotten a heck of a lot closer after a return like that. The special teams just keep setting them up. 